So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build the non-EDF versions, the swappable, the uh, firewall version, or the thrust vectoring version. This is a very, very light setup. It's 400 grams something. It's using the blue wonder in the back on the FT Simple firewall. And this particular setup is one where you need to put the servos in the front. You really need to put them at the front spots instead of the back spots. Otherwise you will not get the balance proper. So that's why there's an extra slot there. And I just used some tubing. I found some coffee stir and it's glued down. Uh, but I highly recommend putting in the back spots if you are going to use anything larger, any larger batteries or a heavier setup because the flex on the rods is just not worth it. We're at this step where I left off in the other video. And the difference here is you're going to knock these, this piece out. It has two lines on it, which I have exaggerated with a pen here so you can see it properly. If you're going to use a power pod, you need to push these pieces out. This piece is going to fit in the back here. This piece is going to line up with the edge of this and this notch here and also in the back. This way you know it's perfectly lined up. So what we're going to do is just add glue to the bottom. That's a lot of glue. Now you want to push this in place and you want to move it around a little bit so you spread that glue. And then you want to line it up properly. Take care to line it up in the back and the front and then push it down. Spread that glue. If you're going to glue the simple FT Simple Firewall on, it's super easy. All you have to do is line it up with these two lines that are etched on here and you just simply glue it in place. Depending on the motor you have, you might want to scoot this in but usually you want to keep it at the edge here and that way you can line it up with the edge making sure it's all parallel to the lines and the back. Same thing with the uh, thrust vectoring. All you have to do is just glue it in place at this point. Now that we glued this and it's all dry, we can test fit our power pod. So I have this power pod I've used before and I just want to test fit this to make sure everything feels right. That looks Perfect. And if we're going to use a power pod, this is a really good time to insert the barbecue skewers in the bottom here for the lineup before we put the top up. Like all other swappables, with a twisting motion, you're going to shove this barbecue skewer in just a little bit, and then you're going to cut two that are roughly an inch and a half long. And I usually sharpen them so they twist in easier afterwards. You don't have to, but it just makes things easier. So I'm going to add some glue to the hole. Just a little tiny bit. As usual, don't go crazy. Then with a rotating motion, push in the barbecue skewer, leaving a little bit so you can steer your power pod into place. Now, test fit it. And again, make sure everything fits. Perfect. That is nice. There's one more step we need to do with the power pod, and that's in the main fuselage. There's two etched little circles here. We need to punch those out. This is where the barbecue skewer is going to go through and hold the power pod in place. Just poke that through both sides. Just put this in place, test fit it in, in the slots. As you can see, it wants to sh shoot out at the edges. So what you need to do is make sure that this is 90 degrees towards the wing, against the wing. So you want to glue this in place 90 degrees. So I'm just going to add some glue here along all these edges here. Now. Put it in one side at a time. Don't try to get all six of them lined up at once. Just do one side at a time. Push it in, push it down. Make sure it push down hard. Then push in the sides against the edges here. Make sure that's nice and square. Now we're gonna test fit the power pot again. 
make sure that everything lines up. Take your barbecue skewer and secure it in place. Now that's really on there. And remember, whenever you put the power pot on in this direction, you have to flip the prop around. So take the prop off, flip it around, otherwise it's gonna push the opposite direction. So put it on that way, just put it on, then you have to reverse two of the motor wires. Now that's the power pot version done. Now you can go back and watch the normal build video by clicking here. Thank you.